So obviously today we're doing section 1.1, the very first section of chapter 1. And what's in this first section? We're talking about words that are used in algebra, okay? So uh, what's a variable? A variable is simply a letter that's used to represent one or more numbers, okay? Um, the numbers are called values of the variable. A variable expression is a collection of numbers, variables, and operations. A variable expression is also known as an algebraic expression. So if, uh, if somebody's expressing themselves to you, what, is that, what does that mean? If somebody's expressing themselves to you? Anybody? Come on. Express yourself. What does that mean? Mark? Uh, they're, telling you how they feel. they're telling you how they feel. They're saying something, right? Yes. Okay. So in math, an expression is also saying something. Now, uh, what do I mean by that? Like, 3 plus 2, that's saying something right there. What's it saying? For you to add 3 and 2 together, right? Or 8 divided by 4. That's an expression right there. That's a uh, math expression, okay? So just like when we express ourselves, we're saying something, a math expression is saying something. You could do something with math. Add, subtract, multiply, or divide, right? So when you have a variable expression, that's a, a slightly different. Again, this is a math expression, 3 plus 2, but this is now a variable expression, 3x plus 2. Okay, the only difference is that a variable expression actually has a variable in it. And what's a variable? It's simply a letter. Yay? Yay. Okay. And on this next part, I kind of jumped ahead of myself. Or I just mentioned a little bit of 1.2, which is really tomorrow's section. Um, exponents and order of operations. Okay. Uh, when they ask you to evaluate a variable expression, that simply means plug it in. Okay, when they ask you to evaluate a variable expression, plug it in. And like I said, this is from 1.2, so we're going to really uh, target that phrase, evaluate a variable expression, um, on the next section. But for right now, what I would like you to do is to take your piece of paper and, in your own words, or not, uh, write down some type of definition for what a variable is. What is a variable, right? What are operations? And we're talking about math operations, okay? What's an algebraic expression? What does it mean to simplify? On number four and five, we'll get to that in a little while, but how about we do one, two, and three right now? I'm gonna pause it to give you some time. So a variable is a letter, simple as that. Most of the time, X, especially in algebra one. I mean, yeah, it could be X, Y, Z, P, Q, R. It could be any letter you want, but most of the time we're solving for X in algebra one, especially during semester one. Um, operations. Operations, we're not talking about a doctor operating on a patient. We're talking about math operations. We're talking about add, subtract, multiply, divide. Uh, I forgot exponents also belong. That's a math operation, right? So we have all these operations in math, okay? And then um, what is an algebraic expression? On the notes above, it says that it's the same thing as a variable expression. So an algebraic expression or a variable expression is simply a collection of math operations and variables, okay? So what's a math operation? Add, subtract, multiply, divide. What's a variable? X, right? So you could have a super simple algebraic expression, something like, uh, let's go with the 3X. I mean, that looks, that actually has a number, a math operation, and a variable. What's the number? The number is? Three. What's the variable? x. What's the math operation going on right between the 3 and the x? There's multiplication in there, guys. So that's a variable expression right there, okay? Um, moving on to the next question, number four. What does it mean to simplify? Simplify means to simply make it simple. <laughs> so when we simplify something, it's make it simple by doing any math possible, right? So if I did have a uh, 3 plus 2, that's obviously not simplified. Now, if I wanted to simplify it, I would rewrite it as 5, right? Um, sometimes, like if you had 3x plus 2, you actually cannot simplify that. That's already simplified because you can't really add 3x with 2. And, of course, we'll get that. 
we'll get to that later, not being able to add X's and numbers. But anyways, simplifying something is simply making it more simple by doing any math possible. And number five, how do you evaluate a variable expression? This is again from 1.2. It's not really from today's section, but how do you evaluate a variable expression? Anybody? Plug it in. That's how you evaluate a variable expression. Now, what do I mean by that? Like, let's say I did have this 3x and they told me evaluate 3x when x is 4. So if they did say evaluate 3x when x is 4, that would simply mean to plug it in. 3 times 4, that would give you 12. That would be evaluating. But like I said, evaluating and all that other good stuff is for the next section. On today's section, we... Whoa. On today's section, we want to get comfortable with words and algebra. So here's a variable expression. Um, 3x or 3 parentheses x. And the words um, would be 3 times x, right? Because... If there is no uh, math operation between the three and the x, that means that you're multiplying. That's really the operation going on. So this is an example of multiplication three times x, or another fancy word for multiplication is product, right? The product of three and x, okay? And right here on this uh, final part of the table, it says multiplication. Obviously, we are multiplying. So a fancy word for multiplication is the word product, and that will pop up a lot. Um, we also have, uh, expression right here, algebraic or variable expression, 16 over B. And we know that fractions really are division problems. So this could be read as 16 divided by B. Or it could be written out with the division symbol, 16 divided by B. And that's what it says right here, 16 divided by B. Or another fa fancy way or fancier way of saying it would be the quotient of 16 and B. You guys get it? Yeah. Cool. And 4 plus s, 4 plus s, um, that's a variable expression. It has a number, it has a variable, it has a math operation. Um, and it's simply, in words, it is 4 plus s. Or you could say the sum, sum is a fancy word for addition, the sum of 4 and s, the sum of 4 and s. And then there, there's this even other fancier way of saying it. You could say, let me zoom in on this. 4 increased by s, that's another way of saying it. Or even another uh, way of saying it would be s greater than 4. Okay, so that, that sounds kind of weird because uh, we have the 4 first and the s second. And right here I wrote the s first and the 4 second. So s is greater than 4, that's how you would read this. Now, the word than implies a switch in the order. The s and the 4 actually get switched into 4 and s whenever you have the word than. So it's as simple as this. If I told you what's um, 2 greater than your age, are you going to do 2 plus your age or are you going to do your age plus 2? Your age plus 2, there's a switch. The than in, in includes a switch in the order, okay? So those are also uh, different ways of saying 4 plus s. Let's go back to uh, the last one here, 9 minus x. 9 minus x has a, a number, a math operation, and a variable. It could be read min, 9 minus x, or it could be read as x subtracted from 9, okay? x subtracted from 9. The subtracted from also implies a switch when you, you, when you write out the sentence, or 9 decreased by x. And when you get confused with this type of things, try to apply it to something real like your age, right? If I say, what's your age decreased by one? There is no switch on decreased by. You just take your age and subtract one from it. Um, but if I say, what is two subtracted from your age? You're not going to say two take away your age. You're actually going to switch it, right? So the word subtracted, f subtracted from implies a switch. Subtracted from implies a switch. So x subtracted from 9, that's really going to be 9 take away x, okay? Or also the word than. Like if we had um, the word than also implies a switch. Like up here we did greater than. So right here, let's, let's use the word than. Let's say x less than 9 or x less than the number 9. 
X less than the number nine um, would imply a switch. Again, if it's confusing to you right here, think about some, like your age or something. If I say two less than your age, you're not gonna do two take away your age, you're gonna do your age take away two, there's a switch. So uh, we filled out half of this thing. I also gave you this little slip of paper, whoops, this little slip of paper that also helps you with the words. So when you're looking for addition, it's any of these words could mean addition. So if I say, what's the sum of two and five, that's two plus five. If I say, uh, what's the total of three, six, and nine, that means to add up the three, six, and nine. If I say uh, two increased by one, increased by also means add. So all these words mean add, all these words mean subtraction, uh, all these words mean multiplication, all these words mean division. So this is also for you to glue stick in your notebook to help you out with words. Okay, and you could have it right here. Let's practice a little. Uh, number one, the sum of five and X. So what does sum mean? Add, that's right. So we're gonna put a plus, and what are we adding? Five and X, so you're gonna put five and X, and there is no need to switch the order, okay, right now. Okay, later on when we're putting things in standard form, we are gonna make the variable come first and the number at uh, last. But anyways, right here, the sum, just adding, you're not gonna switch. So what I would like you guys to do over the next couple of minutes is to go through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and let's see if we could get all those correct. Quotient, what is a quotient? Quotient is what? Add, subtract, multiply, divide. Divide. Divide, so you could either say six, over x or you could say 6 divided by x moving on number three five more than x hmm interesting first speed bump so do we uh do we go five plus x or is it going to be x plus five let's think about this one of these is right one of these is wrong whenever you have the word then you're going to end up switching the order guys it's that simple right if we take a look at this little slip of paper over here down here it says remember that the words from or than will change the order it does say into but into we don't even use that much but than implies a switch also the word from implies a switch okay so keep that in mind the words from the words then imply a switch so when you say five more than X, it's not gonna be five plus X, whoops. It's gonna be X plus five. So um, let's say you're still confused. Why not think of a real life situation like age? Five more than my age, I'm, I'm 40, right? Am I really gonna go five plus 40 or am I gonna go my age 40 plus five? 40 plus five, exactly. So think about a real situation that might help you out. The word than implies a switch, so you have to switch the order. Let's move on, number four. The product of two and x, what does product mean? Multiply, so you could say two times x, you could put both of them in parentheses, or you could simply put just two x. That's probably the best way to write it, product of two and x. There is no than, there is no uh, from, so you're not switching anything in order, just write it as it is. Number five, two subtracted from, Wait a minute, keyword from, right? What are we gonna do? Yep, we're gonna take the two, we're gonna take the X, and we're gonna switch them and write it as X minus two, not two minus X. One more than, keyword than, twice X. So we have twice X over here, twice X, that's two X, and right here we have a one, and the then implies a switch. So twice x is 2x, and one is over here, and more than is plus. Make sense? So that's really 2x plus one. Again, the word than implies a switch. Three more than a number. There's a number, and there's three more. The sum, sum is addition, and there is no order switch. And what are we adding? We're adding 12, and what else? Twice a number. 
So that's simply 12 plus 2x.